Okay, iTech Pro. This is a prayer straight from the John Deere's iTech Pro manual, and they call a function each individual line and a sequence is all of the functions that occur. You have an entry and an exit uh, sequence. You can have any one you want in John Deere with their CAN bus. Of course, you can do lots of things like speed up, slow down, change gears. Uh, since they won't release any of the CAN bus codes, well, we're kind of screwed, but we can do other things. We can uh, parallel buttons with relays and actually do quite a bit. So their screens or setup sequences are very similar to what I kind of had. And the way it works is you come in and then based on the distances of the headland you trigger these events. So you have an entry going in and an exit going out. Again two sequences. Each of these is a function and an action is what it actually does in your distances. Now they used negative distance approaching and positive, di positive distance leaving and it's backwards from inside and outside. I took a different approach and made both the same. So it's negative past the headline on both sides and positive going away. Uh, programming takes care of that so human beings shouldn't have to worry about it. So okay Ag open GPS. What I've done is the U-turn still looks very much the same. You still set the uh, the turn and stuff like that based on your shapes. Uh, also have now is how many skips do you want? You want to skip three passes, two passes, one passes, and the height scaling of the uh, of the shape itself. Right now it's set up to do two skips, and so you would leave us make a strip, leave a strip, entering. So just like. Uh, our green friends screen. Here you can choose, I just have five thingies, uh, manual button, auto button. Uh, suppose you want to turn the manual button, turn it on at minus four. Take the auto button, turn it off at zero, like where you cross the line. And turn the four wheel drive off I'll just be really to turn the four-wheel drive off at six. And then when we're exiting, manual button, turn it off again at minus three. Auto button, turn it on, on at zero. And turn our four-wheel drive on again at six or whatever, six, seven, eight. So just like their screen, I mean, a little help screen. So you're coming in, and an example here, manual button turn off at minus three, turn manual button turn on at plus five. That's where it turns on, that's where it turns off. Simple. Just hit save. Now it's set up. Turn you turn on. This is still the same where it, um, depending on where you want the, you turn to trigger three meters before the headline or three meters after. Um, and so let's get going. Do, do, do. Now you can see here is the bounding box that's used to determine how far both the tractor and the implement. I should mention that. Now the implement is also doing a distance from the headline as is the tractor so when you set those distances it's based on the center of the implement and not the tractor because when you go around the corner especially with an air seater they're in two very different places now 50 meters away or 45 meters away from the headline that's when it, everything begins so it's got to know its direction you got to know the direction of the tool you got to know how far the tractor is away or the pivot point is away from the headline and you also have to know how far the tool is away from the headland. See there now it just triggered and that was at 45 meters. Now everything begins. The so U-turn is separate from the control of the um, of the iTech stuff or the, the turn on turn off of all the functions. But uh, the initiation of the turn starts the whole process. So we'll just speed up here. Now we have 
auto on, right? So a few meters away. Do, 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 do. There, now the four-wheel drive turned off. Now the auto turned off. Now the manual turns on. Because that's what we told it to do. Remember, negative three meters and zero meters auto turns off. Negative three meters, the manual turns on. And as we go around the corner, the opposite will happen because that's what we programmed for the exit. And again, this is negative meters this way, positive meters this way. I guess I'll have to convert it into feet, but that's going to be a pain in the ass. So anyway, as we go off, now three meters away, the manual should turn off. Click. Auto turn back on. Click. And our thingy turns back on. Or if it's connected to your four-wheel drive or PTO or where who knows what, or hydraulics, or whatever you want. Um, we can add 20 or 30, or just keep it at 5, depending on what people want to do. So, let me go to the other end here. You see now it's already triggered. When we tell the direction by exit and entry, all AB lines are formed from a point to a point. So if you're going the same direction as the AB line, then you're, you know you're going one direction, and as soon as you go the opposite way of that trigger point, then you know that you are now going the other way. And that's the way it determines exit and entry, just based on, on line theory vectors. And here we'll whip around. Manual turns off, auto turns on. Thingy turns on. Simple. You want to change direction? You don't want to go that way. You change direction, go the other way. You can manually turn it, cancel the turns. You can uh, do whatever. It's kind of rough yet. It doesn't cancel the functions if you go off track and that sort of thing. But if you stay well on track and set them accordingly. It all does work pretty good. Um, it doesn't save them yet. That's going to have to be saved in vehicle settings. So there's still a bunch of things to do, but I uh, thought I'd share with what I'm working on. This is kind of cool. You guys are going to really use this for the air seater this spring to be able to lift up the air seater and set it down exactly where you want. And along with suction control and being able to control whatever you want, it uh, should work pretty good. Anyway, thanks. And I'm sure the black helicopters are going to be coming, landing here soon.